What's happening guys? This is Rival Racer back with another video and today I cleared off a spot on my table. Thank goodness. I found a way to make my thing um, My camera slouch down more instead of being straight up like this now. It's kind of slanted So I get a better angle when I'm doing all this stuff And uh, you can see closer up how I'm doing it what I'm doing and all kinds of stuff So today is Wednesday and I'll be unboxing a three pack and four more cars all that I got on my vacation so let's get right into it. <clears throat> Actually, one of them I didn't get on my vacation, sorry. One of them is a match to a car that I got on my vacation, so I'm going to open it up anyway. And so let's get into the three-pack first, just like I did on a couple days ago on Monday's video. So let's do this one. This three-pack, I actually uh, did not get this on vacation either. Sorry, I lied to you. But this one is... Uh, I'm not going to keep that. That's ugly. This one I got at Three Bears. And I'm super excited to open it. It's got a little damage right there. Plastic's busted on both corners, but that's fine. It's got this nice Corvette Stingray in there and a Bone Shaker. Everybody loves a Bone Shaker. So this is a different color, one that I don't have yet. Although I have many Bone Shakers, this is a cool one. So let's get right into it. I'm super excited. So, open it up just like I did the last one. I found the best way to open it. Stick your finger, just like that, in between. It'll bust through this top, and then just slide it down. Just like... Oh, it got stuck there. Just like... Oh, it's not working this time. It's worked all the other times I did it. Of course, the one time I try and show you guys is the one time it decides not to work, right? That's my luck. There. That'll work. Alright, that side open, that side open. Let's pull it out. Set this guy aside. Behind me, set this guy aside. I'll show you this one on the bottom, like I did last time, but I'm not going to keep it because it is ugly. There it is. It's a taxi. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Oh, it's got the chrome bottom too. Ah! It's called the Cockney Cab 2. Stupid name. But there it is. I'm not going to do a review. Not keeping it. Bye. Alright. I'm sorry. I just don't like those kind of cars at all. They drive me insane. So let's do the second car in the pack. The middle one. Which is the Corvette Stingray. This is the 2014 Corvette Stingray. And uh, this is a nice white color with the black and red on the hood. Over here and down the middle. On the back it's got this big, uh, these big quadruple exhaust pipes um it's nice the corvette corvette logo and the word corvette hot wheels logo tail lights have good detail headlights have good detail which i really like um this nice chrome wheels it's super awesome and then there's the bottom in this metallic silverish again super cool convertible top nice windshield on there black interior can see in there there's no steering wheel what kind of car doesn't have a steering wheel <laughs> there it is so let's set him right over there and last for this three pack is one that probably the most exciting one in there because this is my favorite I don't like fantasy castings usually this is my favorite fantasy casting ever made I love it it's very popular the bone shaker this one is so awesome it's this dark dark very dark blue with the orange flames on the side the nice chrome engine the chrome skull on the front and the uh, quadruple exhaust on both sides that's eight exhaust pipes super cool engine popping out of the hood there this uh i don't know what this is it's in all of them i think it's got this chrome little like cylinder like it looks like a gas tank almost and then these like control pads and pipes or something it's kind of weird, but I like it. And then this chrome back right here. And then it's got the nice chrome red lip on the wheel, on the blacked out wheel. And then on the bottom it's this metallic silver again. And right in there it says Bone Shaker. Awesome, awesome casting. I love this color for it too. This nice dark navy blue. Alright, now let's get into the single cars. Now, the first single car I'm going to start off just like I did last time. With the one that I've had for a little while. I've just never opened it yet. This one. And, oh, in the theme for this one. So last, the first time, 
what was the theme? I think it was just random because I, uh, theme was just random the first time because I didn't have a theme. And then after that, I think the theme was fantasy castings. And now, last time the theme was sports slash muscle. Uh, <laughs> sports slash muscle. And this time it's exotic cards. So, the first one is a 2017 model. And it is, I have this one in green. And this one is now yellow. And I have another one. This one is the yellow Lamborghini Huracan LP6 20-2 Super Trofeo. Dang, that's a long name. I opened this one up way back in the very beginning when I very first started my channel. Opened it up, saved it for almost a month, I think, and didn't upload it until quite a while. It was quite a while ago, but I don't remember it necessarily. But this one is the yellow. This one I've had for a while. Didn't get this one on vacation. All the rest for this video I have gone on vacation, though. So here... Oh, I dropped one. No! One second. Ugh. Good thing I got long arms. Okay. Let's get into this. Kids, careful with knives. Now, this one has the assist, just like that. So, I'm just going to use that instead of trying to be dandy with it. Let's get into it. Alright. Cut through there. Oh, boy. It's not wanting to, uh, to cut the way I want it to. Alright, let's start from the other side. Just drop that bone shaker that we just looked at. It's fine. It'll survive. It's like a three foot drop. It's not that big, so... Not a big deal. Alright. There it is. Let's put this away. Okay. Let's get into it. So, oh no! Everything's falling now. Ah! All right, move this back here. There it is. Awesome car. I love this. I like the. Um, okay. Don't be like, oh, he doesn't like it. I do like it. I like the green one more. I'm sorry to say. I really like this one. The green one is better, just because green's my favorite color, and it looks so good on Lamborghinis. But here it is, nice yellow color. Um. And it's got the white stripe, the black and white on the hood, black and white all over the sides. And there it is, the nice big, huge wing on the back, the big diffuser. Super cool gray wheels. Nice detail on the headlights. Not much on the taillights. And then if you can see that nice black interior. The windshield is kind of like a, like tinted, darker. And then it's black bottom. And there's the title, Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo, crazy title, <laughs> so let's move him aside, and look at the next one, now this one I got at Kmart in North Carolina again, um, so let's take a look at it and see what we think, here it is, uh, it's the same car, another different color, so I have the yellow, the green, and now this one is a new for 20, or not new for 2018, it's a 2018 model. So it's not the gray that they very first came out with, because I wish I had that one. This one is the white one that they came out with lately. And it's a matte white, so let's get into it. We can look at more detail once I open it up. Alright. Come on, there we go. And there, there we have it. Let's get this a little bit better. There we go. Put the knife away. <laughs> All right, let's open this up. Pull it out. There it is. Super good looking car. I like this one more than the yellow. The yellow is my least favorite color for this casting, although I like that one a lot too. There it is. It's like a matte, it's a matte white, which is super cool. I love matte white. It's a matte white with the red and green. It's like Italian colors. It's super awesome. So I'm going to go one-handed here for a second. And uh, it's a matte white. It's got the red and the green on the hood with the nice Lamborghini logo there. 
nice, super good detail on the headlights. I love the uh, ventilation in the hood. Those look so cool. Kind of like a 4GT has those. And then here is the side. More red, black, white. This, that, and the other. Sorry, I went one-handed because I was trying to adjust my uh, lighting. You couldn't really see it through the camera. So, there it is. Red on this side. Same, this, this the sides are the same. It's number six. There it is, 06. Lamborghini. It's got red, green, and then even the sides of the giant spoiler on the back have green, and it says Lamborghini. Nice big wing on the back. The nice huge red diffuser. Awesome looking car. And then the black interior. And the blacked out wheels add to it. And then the red bottom, which is kind of different. You don't usually see that. And it's the same Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. So, there it is. I like this one. It's going to be hard between this one and the green one. I like them both a lot. Alright. Next, this is our second to last car. This one is, I'll tell you, it's Lotus's most infamous car, probably. I would say it is. And it is the 2018 model, the orange Lotus Esprit S1. Let's get into it. I love this one. I have three of these already. Uh, Lotus Esprits. I don't know if they're necessarily the S1 or whatever, but... I have the I have a yellow Lotus Esprit, a white Lotus Esprit, and a black and goldish Lotus Esprit. And now I have this orange Lotus Esprit to add to them. So I like this car a lot. It kind of reminds me of like uh, I don't know what it reminds me of. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of the show and or watched it. It's called I watch a show called Top Gear, the UK version, um, and it has these three British people from the UK, and uh, it just, it's a car show. So they race cars, they do road trips in cars, and all kinds of different stuff. There's Jeremy, Richard, and James. Most of you probably know it. It's a super great show. I love it. And uh, in one of the episodes, James is driving this and it does astonishingly well way better than anybody thought it would so all right let's get into it there it is i love this car very much so let's look at it um it's very simple there's not much to say about these because usually they don't add detail like i can reach over here this is the black one and i could say a lot because they added a lot of colors and golden wheels and the interior super clear um plastic for the windshield and stuff but this one not so much it's still super clear and you can see the interior but it's just orange with a black stripe down the side it's got the chrome wheels that i like um black interior i'm running short on time so i gotta make this short and sweet um the tail lights have good detail there's a license plate there is no headlights because they're pop-up headlights and then the orange bottom too which says lotus spree s1 on the bottom super cool full orange orange bottom orange body Awesome. Set him aside, and this is the one I'm most excited about today, so I'm trying to get to it so I don't have to rush through it. I'm most excited about the Aston Martin 177 in the new green color. Found this one at Walmart in Colorado, so let's get into it. I have the blue and the red one of this, and I absolutely love this car. This is my favorite. Oh, that's hard. This is definitely in my top... I'll say five favorite Aston Martins. Top five. I'm not going to say it's my favorite or anything because that might spark up stuff. Or, and I'm not even sure if it is my favorite. But I really like the old Aston Martin DB5. I like the DBS. I like the DB10. I like the... I like this one. <clears throat> and this pretty much does it for the top... That's four. I also like the Vanquish a lot and the Valkyrie, so that's more than five, but whatever. Let's get into it. So I only got half a minute here. Oh, crap. Okay, so here it is. I'm just going to make it short and sweet. It's awesome, weird green color. Super weird. It's got the nice black stripe. Awesome detail for the headlights and the interior. Back end doesn't have much detail. There's the black bottom and the chrome wheels like the Camaro had on Monday. So... 
If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.